congratulations on such amazing work on 1917. I was so moved by the film. I enjoyed it so right, much. Right. And one of the things I was really impressed with is how unobtrusive the camera felt. Because when I watch a lot of movies that look like one-take films, I'm constantly reminded that there's a camera there because there's the, the lens is smeared in dirt or that it moves too much or it almost becomes like, am I watching a different character on set? Yeah. But not in this one. This one I always felt like it observed so beautifully. And was that a challenge to make sure that you weren't being true and true, that you weren't reminding people that this camera is always following these soldiers around? Right. I'm really, it's really, I'm really pleased to hear you say that because some people feel the camera is quite obtrusive. I, I felt personally, I mean, I watched the film a few times, I, I, I feel it's pretty unobtrusive, except for at moments where it actually leaves the characters and, and it becomes something else. And I think that's that was a justified moment. Um, I think with any film, I mean, the way I work, I don't want people to be aware of the what the camera's doing or the camera work or the lighting. I, I want it to be immersive. And, you know, particularly the style that Sam wanted to shoot this under, it was about being having that immersive feeling of being with the characters and not being able to escape from where they are, where we, you know, put you put put the audience right with the characters. Yeah, and also because, of course, the dialogue dialogue is so sparse, and we have yeah. so few characters in the film. The camera the camera is so important in order to get us under the skin of these these characters and telling us who they are and getting us close yeah. to them. Did you feel like you work closer with the actors in this production than you ordinarily do on films? Um, I think any shot you do, it's a kind of, it's always about that relationship of the camera to the actors. And depending on the actors and depending on the director and depending on the situation, whether, you know, the blocking is altered to accommodate what the shot might be or something, you know, but there's always that relationship. Uh, uh, yes, that was even stronger on this film because there's hardly a piece in the in the whole shoot where... You, the camera and the actors aren't in this kind of symbiotic relationship and they have to be coordinated or the whole thing would fall apart, you know, because there's so much movement, you know. I mean, there's obviously still moments, but then the still moments can become very fast moments in the same shot. So it had to be really closely choreographed. Mm. Yeah. And interesting what you're talking about in terms of the movement, because I felt like... The most moving shot in the film to me, that's the shot in the truck where it just rests on George's yes. face. It's so amazing. Yeah. Did you have any other moments in particular that stood out to you that you're particularly proud of in the film? No, actually, the, 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 that shot in the truck that you mentioned actually is my favorite moment in the movie, although I won't say why, but it, 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 I, I find that really... Uh, it's such a simple little thing, but it's so moving. It was so moving. I was, I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was really yeah. I watch it. I mean, I've seen it a million times, but I always, I'm always moved by that. Just yeah. that shot. There's something about that the construction of the frame that it's quite a busy frame, but you're just looking at what you want to look at. And all the rest is just peripheral. It's interesting, yeah. yeah. And beautifully how it also works together with Newman's score in yeah. terms of focusing, yeah. getting us into his emotions. Yeah. Now, of course, you worked with Sam Mendes for a number of years. How has your collaboration and your sense of shorthand developed in that in that time? Well, I think you build up a kind of trust and a knowledge of each other's likes and dislikes, you know. And um, I think this film owes probably more to Jarhead than than the other two I've done with Sam. Um, not just because it was a war film, but the approach on Jarhead was so much about the relationship of the camera to the, the main character. It was so much one person's, in Jarhead, one person's particular view of that war, you know. Um, so I thought that was quite informative of how we approached this film.